what it do youtube slash patreon slash bit shoot today's video i want to chime in with a quick impromptu video in today's video i want to talk about god and i'm just using that word god is testing your patience to see what you will do next yes god is testing your patience to see what you will do next so you know that topic came about based off of real life circumstances so um you know just to give you guys the rundown or whatever and shit like that but um <laughs> oh shit it's just funny as hell it's funny because it's just ironic but like right now and shit i'm just like stranded and shit i'm just sitting at target just using their wife and whatnot but the thing is is like i got myself into this predicament you know it wasn't like a bad situation or no shit like that but i got myself in this situation you know what i mean and shit i just gotta um you know deal with the consequences and the consequences of shit this homelessness and shit like that and then a lot of people are oh, you just being lazy and no there's nothing about me that says lazy you know what I mean? If anything, I'm just trying to figure shit out. I've been doing job applications, haven't been getting responses, no call back and shit like that. Because I did some dumb shit. Like, I should have got like phone credit when I had the chance, but I never switched over my Australian phone credit to America because I was in Australia a couple months ago. And then my visa, it just expired. And then they was like, oh, we sending you back to the States. And then boom, came back, you know, back to, you know, bullshit. But, you know, I'm just up here and shit, I'm just waiting. But, you know, I'm a master manifester and shit, and I'm not gonna say it like I'm being cocky, like I'm being cocky or I'm being prideful or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Like, everybody gonna go through something. But the reason why I'm explaining this to y'all, because like I say, it made look like everything look good on camera and all that, but it's not even that. I just do my videos and shit. I'm not trying to make so everything look good. I just do my videos. And that's it. And whatever you perceive, that's what you perceive. That's not my fault that you perceive that. You know what I mean? But um, but yeah, right now at the moment, yeah, I am fucked up and shit. Fucked up meaning like, uh, like no cash and shit like that. But but hey, it's my fault and shit because when I did have money, I didn't manage it properly. You know what I mean? And shout out to all the subs that has helped me out and that is helping me out. You know, much love to you guys. But um, yesterday and shit, you know, it was a lot of um, crazy stuff going down. And I don't know, I just felt like I reached rock bottom and shit because I've been homeless before, you know, back in 2018 and shit in Chicago, which was, I think, probably was way more tougher because um, it was my first time actually really going through that. Like, at, like the beginning, like, half of my life, like, I really never experienced homelessness. I experienced not being stable, always moving from house to house to house to house to house. To house. Excuse me, but then once I got past like the, what, the age like 21 and shit like that, 22, that's when it starts to, you know, pick up and stuff like that. And it's not no excuses and all this shit like that, but it's like, what do you really expect somebody to do if they don't have guidance? You know what I mean? Like, really, what do you expect somebody to do? Oh, you need to raise your own straps. I've been laying my own straps up. You see what I mean? And this is like, yeah, you applying for jobs and all that shit, but shit over here in USA, it takes so fucking long. You know, when I was in Australia, I was applying for jobs and just getting them like that. Just getting them like that. But this is not Australia. You see what I mean? This is America. So it's like, so it's like, yeah, I got to do what I got to do. And it's like, it's uh, most of my fault, yeah. But I don't even want to look at it like that. If anything, I'm going to look at it as a, a learning experience. You know what I mean? But yesterday, you know, it was a lot of crazy stuff going on. And I just felt like, um reach rock bottom and no I'm not playing victim and no I'm not playing um antagonist either you know what I mean I'm just giving it to you um from my perspective of what's really going on and um I'm not going to give you all the details because that's not you know everybody's business you know every fucking detail you know what I mean but um the thing is, is like I don't know I just feel like I reached rock bottom yesterday and I don't know I just feel like I was just going to do something crazy either suicide or homicide you know what i mean or just some crazy shit you know and then i was just thinking about it like if i do do some crazy shit you can't come back from that because yeah like being in this type of situation homeless and all that shit yeah that's one thing but then if i do commit suicide or something like that that's one life you can't come back from that you know what i mean or if i kill somebody or some shit 
you can't come back from that. I mean, you can come back that years and years and years down the line, but it's like you just wasted your life by killing somebody, you know what I mean, for whatever reason. So I thought about that. And then yesterday, right, randomly, this guy, he came like out of the blue. And that's how I knew this was a messenger slash angel sent from the universe to give me clarification. So I wasn't being patient and nothing like that. I was just jumping into my emotions, thinking some things, you know, just from an emotional point of view and not logically. And I don't know, I was just on the verge of just doing some dumb shit. And then I just turn around and shit, and I see this guy. And you know, angels come in unusual forms, messengers. You know, he looked all fucked up and shit. You know, I think he was homeless as well. But the thing is, is like, you can't really judge people off their physical appearance. You have to judge them of what, of what they were saying. And the dude was saying some real shit, and I was just kind of zoned out because I was just a lot of shit just going on in my mind. I was just zoned out, and and I was just thinking like, I was just thinking like, what the fuck? I was like, like what the fuck is going on? And then I'm just listening to this guy talk. He said some real shit. He said, "Don't do nothing stupid." He said, "God is testing your patience." And I'm just using that word God because, you know, he used that word for me, but I knew what he was saying. He said, God is testing your patience to see what you will do next. And he was like, if you do something crazy or something stupid, it's only making your situation worse. You can't come back from that. And that really, like, sparked something to my mind. And I was just like, damn, that is true. God is testing my patience. He is trying to see what I'm going to do. Because most people, if they in this position, they just give up, you know, just sleeping on the ground and shit. Or they just, you know are killing motherfuckers or have committed suicide and you know you can't come back from that and it's just like and it's just like damn you know what i mean and i was like a lot of people just sell out to the devil you know so easily and shit for whatever their circumstances is and i'm not in nobody else's life so i can't tell nobody what to do how to react nothing nothing like that you know what i mean but i was just saying like i could see and when I say sell out to the devil, that doesn't mean people in Hollywood. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doing dumb shit, like uh, saying, fuck it, I'm going to just get turned out to drugs. Everything else going bad, so I'm going to just start smoking drugs. Or I'm going to just start killing motherfuckers, I'm going to kill myself. Like, shit like that. That's like selling your soul to the devil type shit. And he was like, if you do that, and he was like, if you kill yourself or some shit like that, he was like, your soul automatically goes to hell. You know what I mean? And it was just like, damn, he was actually speaking some real shit. And I just wanted to, like, you know, relay that story on to you guys. But if anybody else that's going out there that's going through anything similar to what I've gone through, or even worse, let you know that, look, I don't even got it all together. I'm struggling myself, but guess what? I'm still, you know, gathering my composure and still getting on here to send you guys positive energy, positive messages, saying you can do anything. You are strong, you just have to be patient and let things unfold naturally. Because once you start forcing things and rushing shit, that's when shit start getting all out of whack. It's called a rickle in time. If you watch Rick and Morty, you know what I'm talking about. But wake the damn up, man. More videos coming soon and shit. It's just like, yeah, just been out here and shit, you know, trying to figure shit out. But like I said, it's my fault. Should have listened to my intuition when I had the chance. But then again, I don't even look at it like that. Because everything happened for a reason. I'm clearly meant to be exactly where I'm at for whatever reason. Have I seen that reason? No. Have I learned that lesson yet? No. So until I actually see that reasoning or see that lesson, then at this moment, I'm just, I'm just here. You know what I mean? I'm just... You know, here, and a lot of people will say they don't believe in that shit. Uh, everything happens for a reason, this and that. Everybody got the right to say and believe whatever they want to believe, but I personally believe everything does happen for a reason. And I personally do believe that, you know, um, I'm supposed to be exactly where I'm at. To either learn something, to see something, or to just get new experiences and grow and get stronger. Because I feel like, personally, I'm getting stronger while a lot of people... I just, I'm just giving up. And like I said before, I have been at a point where I felt like, yes, I want to give up. But like that messenger, when that messenger just came out of the blue and then just disappeared, it was like, yeah, God is just testing your patience. I knew that was an actual messenger sent to me. Real shit. I knew that was an actual messenger sent to me to actually get me to think about what the fuck I'm really doing. You know what I mean? But wake the damn up, man. More videos coming soon.
it is what it is. I feel like you at rock bottom. Only thing you can do is go up from there. Point blank. Period. All the haters. F you. All the supporters. Shout out to y'all. And even shout out to the haters shit. Cause without y'all speaking all y'all hate and shit, the word wouldn't get out there. But wake the damn up, man.